Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee Noy. Yeah, I'm here with a video. Um, today's video is nothing special. Um, um, got to cook something for dinner, so um, I decided to make some some uh, rotel chicken. I know you probably haven't heard of it because it's just something I throw together myself that I like. You know, I'm gonna make stuff that Tennessee North like. I'm not gonna cook anything that Tennessee North don't like. Mm -mm. I'm gonna try new things, I told you, but as far as really eating them, I'm just gonna make the things that Tennessee North like to eat. So yeah, today is some rotel chicken. I got me some thighs over here that I got up clean. They're in the sink. And I got a can of, a large can of rotel. Yeah, I'll show you how to put this together. But before I get started, I want to thank everyone from the bottom of Tennessee North Heart. Y'all really did show some love to my granddaughter, Sue Chef. Uh, she's going through a difficult time right now. But, you know, she's little and um, she's got a lot of support. And, um, yeah, y'all really showed her love. They said it takes a village. And you too, family, you are part of my village. So I appreciate it. Everything the, for the, uh, the condolences, the, I mean, just, you just really poured out love for her. And I thank you for it. Um, y'all showed Sue Chef, y'all really cared about her. And I read them to her. And, um, yeah. She's going to have a little difficult time, you know. And she has good days and bad days. But her mom is keeping her busy. And uh, we let her talk when she wants to talk. If she wants to talk about it, we'll talk about it with her. And so, you know, as time go on, if she uh, needs a little help, her mom is willing and ready to get some help for her. But like I said, she's six years old. And, um, yeah, it's going to take her a minute, but... Right now, she's doing good, you know, we're keeping her spirits up, and, um, yeah, she's a six-year-old. And so, yeah, I just wanted to thank you for that. And also, I want to thank um, Sandra Woody. Yeah, she's from uh, Lincoln. What's that, Lincoln? I think it's Lincolnton. I'm not real sure, but it's North Carolina. Sandra Woody. For the um, Krispy Kreme coupons for me and Sue Chef. Yeah. Sue Chef loves donuts. So, thank you so much, Sandra. And I also want to thank my family, Miss Ramona Johnson from New York, for the wonderful, this herbal tea that she does. Oh, my God. I'm going to put her uh, description. I think I've did it before, but I'm going to put it in the description. How you can get some of this. Yeah, she makes a wonderful herbal tea. Yes. And, uh, whew. you know what it gets? It gets the Tracy Eye. Yeah. So, thank you, Miss Ramona, for that. And, um, yeah. So, you see that big bag of greens? Yeah, I think I'm going to throw some greens in this video here. Um, I had um, saw it on Facebook that um, these people had some greens. Oh, the field looked beautiful. So I contact them. You have to make an appointment to get some because they don't just go out there and pull them up, pick them, and um, just have them sitting around. So you get them by appointment. And this is from Miss uh, Denise and Tony Eldridge. Um, out in Woodlawn, Tennessee, here where I'm from. And um, when I tell you, oh, yeah, I've already cooked mine up. These right here, I got a cousin who had um, knee replacement. And um, um, this is her second knee replacement on her other leg. And this one didn't go so well. Well, it went okay, but it broke loose and she had to have some repairs done. So... She's wanting some greens, so I told her I'll wash them and pick them for her. Yeah. I don't mind. I like picking greens. 
They don't take me that long. And so, yeah, this is going to my cousin Lily. So, but before I get on that, I'm going to get us some dinner uh, going. I'm going to make some um, rotel chicken. And I'll probably pull out some greens to go with it. And maybe some rice. We'll see. I'll play it by you. So don't come back and say, well, Tennessee, you know, if you said, I, I know what I said. I said I'll play it by you. Whatever comes to mind at the time, that's what's going to be on here. So, first of all, let me get to um, cutting up some vegetables, some green pepper and onions to go in my rotel chicken. Okay. For this um, chicken here, you know I'm going to always have some green pepper and onions. But yeah, this adds to the flavor to it, though. So, yeah, I'm going to cut these green peppers up in here. I'm not going to make much of this. I'm going to make a few pieces because me and the mister be the only one eating it. Have to make them uh, plain chicken. Yeah. That's my daughter comes through. Thing one and I mean thing three and thing four is mom. She likes this kind of stuff. I'm babysitting my grandson Everett, my new grandson. He's coming today for me to watch his mom is going to a dinner, a birthday dinner, uh, for a friend of hers that was in her wedding. And so, he's going to come and sit with his nana. I had three and four last night. Her mom went to get her hair done. And I had sous chef the night before. She just wanted to come hang out with Nana. Yeah. So I got my green pepper cut up right there that I'm going to use. Yeah, she just wanted to come hang out with Nana. Good Some onions here. You got to be an onion lover to really appreciate onions. Onions give much flavor. Much flavor. I'm just going to slice it. This is a real simple recipe. smell of onions. Okay. And I also, while I'm sitting here, I'm going to cut these potatoes up. Yeah, I'm going to put potatoes in this too. From a call, I don't know. Okay. So I got some little petite uh, potatoes here. Red ones. Yeah, and I'm just going to cut these up 
no kind of nothing special. I'm just gonna kind of kind of cut them up in some dicey shapes. I'm gonna leave the skin on because I can. And I am. I like the uh, skin on red potatoes. I like them on the Yukon Go as well. Just gonna cut them like this. I was gonna cut them finger length, but this it is. Like that. Don't have to have no certain way. And I could get out my bigger cutting board. Why well, should it when this one will do? Yeah. And I probably could put a towel underneath it so it wouldn't move. Yeah. All that. But I'm not doing that much, so this will this will work. This will do just fine. I appreciate you, you know, telling me, you know, what it could do. Just like that. Have one more. It's not much in this wet money in that bag. I'm just trying to use this up. I don't want them to go bad. And like so, that's everything cut up. Onions, green peppers, and the potatoes. I'm gonna rinse these potatoes. We're gonna get to the stove. Okay. I'm gonna put my onions and green peppers in. those down a Yeah, kind of get them kind of soften up a little bit. I'm getting ready to add my chicken. Now I'm using chicken thighs, skin on, bone in. Skin side down. I'm doing five of them.
And I'm going to put some seasoning on it. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Some black pepper and salt. And let that sear on this side for a little bit. And turn them over. I'm gonna tear this side. The other side, I'm gonna put some seasonings on this side. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Black pepper. A little chicken bouillon. Little tomato basil seasoning. And we're going to add a little of this Italian chopped house blend. And a little tomato bouillon. And this is a non-stick skillet. And now we're going to add our can of Rotel.
And then we're gonna put a top on that and let that come to a simmer. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna add a can of tomato paste. Not the whole can, about a half a can. We're gonna add about a cup of water. And let that simmer. Okay, while we're waiting on the chicken, we're gonna make a little hoe cakes to go along with these greens. Not hot water corn bed today. It's gonna be hoe cakes. This is milk. Animal milk. This is self rising. Self rising milk. This is uh, Martha White buttermilk. Use whatever kind you have. This just happened to be what I had. The difference in this and hot water is hot water you don't put an egg in it. And I'm using whole milk. You can use buttermilk, whatever you like. Self-rising already has everything in it. So you don't need to add no baking powder or anything to it. Just add your milk and your egg. And because I'm on my, I'm only making a little, don't need but a little. One egg is fine. Break that egg up real good. Let's go to the skillet. <laughs> okay. I've been cooking my... I'm going to put this this up. Put this right here. I've been cooking my chicken here. Probably about 45 minutes. Now I'm going to add my potatoes in. Potatoes down in this sauce. Put that top back on that. Let that simmer probably about 30, now let's say about 20 minutes. I got my rice on back here. I got my greens cooking right here. And I'm about to make those hoe cakes. I 
on this pan here. Get a spatula from over here. I got my first coat cakes turned over. My greens about done. My rice is cooking. Chicken is almost ready. I'm gonna put some butter on these. I've already taken the first set up. These are the last. My coat cakes. get some candy in no stove top okay so I got my bread done my greens are done my chicken is about done my rice is almost done and I decided to add a few candy yams with it yeah so I'm gonna do stove top candy yams so I got my candy yams in a pot I'm gonna add some butter I'm going to add some sugar. A little more. You put as much as you want in yours. I'm going to put as much as I want in mine. You know how I do. Okay. I'm 
I had a little syrup in here. I'm going to add some nutmeg and some cinnamon. Let me let that come to a simmer. I'll be back. Okay. Here's the finished product. Rotel chicken. Mmm. Candy yams. Turner greens. Sliced tomato. Cornbread. Yeah. So... Better look. Yeah. Let me speak to the Lord about this one. Amen. Amen. Now, this rotel chicken, um, I'll be watching a lot of those Middle, Middle Eastern um, shows. Hold on. Let's see what we... Let's see what this chicken talking about. Rotel chicken. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Mm, that rice underneath there. Mm. Let's try this potato too. Absolutely do it. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. Need some fresh greens too. These are homegrown tomatoes. Came from the same farm the um, greens came. Mm. There's a difference between a store bought tomato and a homegrown. Oh, Mm -hmm. No greens are Tennessee, no favorite. Oh, my 
Smoke Joe went. Oh my God. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And the tomato. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, I'm eating with my hands. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is a meal. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This chicken. <coughs> you better try you some uh some uh Rotel chicken, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Green peppers and onions. Mm -hmm. Over top of this rice. my mind. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Have some. Oh my goodness. Mm. And to top it off, just took it out the refrigerator. Got my youngest grandson with me tonight. Oh. Wednesday night I had two chef. Thursday night I had three and four. I think three and four. And tonight I have every. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think he's trying to get up. He was old enough, I share with him. It's mm, mm, mm. Rotel. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that Rotel. Top of that rice. Oh my goodness. And cornbread. Mm, mm, mm. It's a showing up winner. Mm. This lower. Mm. And the candy am. Mm. Mm -mm. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it ain't gonna keep on now. I tell y'all about it. I see every kicking. Mm hmm. He had his dinner. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's all that. Fifteen, at least. Mm hmm. <clears throat> oh, my Lord. Um, once again, I want to thank y'all for all the y'all. All the love you showed for Sue Chef and her mom. That's why I say, you don't have to be blood to be family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, I, and there's this one subscriber. I don't know if she's a subscriber or she just like to come on my page. <clears throat> she keeps asking me, is Sue Chef mom her child? Last time I looked at my, at the birth certificate, I'm on there. And, um, Everett's mom, last time I looked at hers, I'm on there. And thing two, I mean three and four, I'm on there, hers too. And my two boys, I'm on there. So... For the ones who want to keep asking, um, um, the law says that them five, as they were growing up, I actually had six. My oldest one passed away at a little after birth. So I would have had one that was 42, 39, 35, 28, 26, 23. All six of those are mine. And um, just because some of my children are white, Are you going by color that you think they're not mine? At the beginning of uh, Tennessee North um, journey, I told you, I have three biracial children and two non-biracial. They're all black. Um, yeah. My family is all mixed up. I got... Nephews, they're a biracial. I have grandchildren that's biracial. Mm -hmm. um, I have nieces that are white. And they're my niece. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I have some that's Spanish. Yeah. Guess what? They're all still Tennessee North family. We come in all different colors. As my children were growing up, I taught them that people are like flowers in a garden. We come in different colors. We come in different sizes, different shapes. But we're all still flowers. Belong to the same garden. Yeah. So I don't have to explain to you again, are these my kids? Are these my grandkids? Is that your nephew? 
Is that your sister? Yeah. Part of one big garden. Yeah. Still flowers. And my YouTube family, you in my garden too. Y'all may not be blood, and I may never lay eyes on you, but you're still part of my family. Yeah. So, I'm going to end this here, because I got a grandson that's kicking in there. Yeah. Yeah. If you like anything about this video, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about Old Tennessee North. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification button in the corner so you'll know the next time um, I come with a video. In the description, I'm going to leave Miss Ramona's information. Yeah, check her out. She's got some good tea. Oh. Bye now.